What's up, YouTube? It's Mitch. And Evie. And Anna. With the Horn and Hammer Kiko's YouTube channel. Our friends at Kimimoto have sent us a windshield for our gator. And we're going to be installing that today. We're going to take you through the unboxing, the whole process, uh, how to install it, and then ride around a little bit. Girls, you excited? Uh, yeah! Awesome. All right, stick around. Kimimoto will celebrate their anniversary August 1st through the 31st. Check out the link in the description to enjoy deals up to 20% off. Y'all go there, check it out, enjoy. All right, everybody, this is our 2013 John Deere Gator. Um, we've had this thing ever since I bought it brand new when Evie was just a baby. We've really enjoyed it. It's been really good to us. You've seen it on the channel before. If uh, you've watched us before, if you haven't, and this is your first time, please give us a subscribe, check us out, come on back, see us again. Um, so this is the windshield that Kimimoto sent out to us to install. And uh, go ahead, unbox that thing, girls. Pretend it's Christmas. All right, y'all lift it up. Hold it right there, hold it right there. Let's see if there's anything else in here. There probably is. Yep, we got some stuff. Let me get that out real quick. And then I'll let y'all set that windshield down on the box. Those are probably the things to the keep things it on. The things to you. attach. Yeah. I think you're right. All right, set that down. Ah. Ah. This part came off. That's okay, we were gonna take it off anyway. So, we've got all the little connectors we need. We got some instructions, just one page. That looks pretty simple. And then we've got the windshield. Gasket's already on the bottom, so that's nice and easy for us. We don't have to work hard on that. Hey, Evie, yeah. you think you and your sister can install this? I think so. Yeah. All right. Let's see if you can do it. Walk us through it. Okay. Yep, I like that. Let's put it back down. Something else I think you need to do is yeah. peel this back a little bit yeah. and then let me know when you're done and I'll cut it off. Okay. Don't peel it all the way off. Just peel it back a little bit. I just want to go straight off, kind of. That'll be good enough. Yep. Till that back a little bit like that. You could probably just leave it, but we'll get it out of the way completely. And the bottom has already been cut and pulled back, so that's really nice. Watch out, Oons. Pull that back a little. Why do you girls think we're leaving that on there? Um, I have no to idea. It. Yeah, to protect it, because we might mess up. We might scratch it or drop something against it during one of the install. All right, flip it over to the same thing. Okay, and I'm going to need help. This is quite heavy. It's like dragging on the box. I think that'd be okay. Now, peel away. Yep, peel it back just enough. All right, Evie, no. look at me. What do you think we need to do next? I think before we get it on there, I 
think we might need to practice putting on these, maybe. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what you got. Luna, do you want to open one? So right here, it's really tough. Then, so looks like this part right here yep. probably goes right there. I believe you're right. I believe you got it. Go ahead and put it up there. Okay. Which direction does it need to go? You think? I think it needs to go. I'll show you because I don't know how to. All right. Well, Una, Una, go over there and get on that side. Now y'all pick up together, okay? Okay. Pick it up. Pick it up. Looks like it would just go this way. Okay. okay. I'm gonna get on the other side. Okay. <laughs> then we got it on there. Correct. Perfect. How'd you know it went that way? Facing the other way, this part, yeah, you probably would get like with the straps, it probably do something weird where you can't actually put it on, and then also because this bottom part right here it is the same shape, but if it was if it was on upside down, put it upside down, then that wouldn't work because this is just straight, not how this bottom part is. Yeah, well, I think you got it right. Let's put these fasteners on, okay? I think. Supposed to go like this because if I did it, went ahead and do that, I think it'd probably be hard for me to get this piece through here because it looks like this would go down. So, yeah, it's kind of hard to see here. Go back behind it. Yep, so that piece. Oh. Back behind it like that and pull it through. Uh oh. I thought I was doing something wrong. I just didn't know what. Okay. Now? Uh, hold on. You gotta let this go through there as well. Okay. Keep on sticking on. Now, I'm gonna kind of make, see if I can make it tighter. And go like this. I think I got it right. Oh. Hold on, back up, back up, back up. There we go. Now, since I've got this part through, I'm gonna make, try and make it tighter. There we go. Right. Did I get it right? I like it. Yeah. All right. Let's do another. Now it's time to do the same process. So I slide it. Make sure that puts in the yeah. So. Cool. Okay. Let me come around, see what you're doing there. So now we're gonna try and tighten it. Okay. And then put it on. Good deal. And it sets really nice and flush. It's in there, nice and tight. All right, kids, y'all got four more to do. Let's see you do them. Okay, now it's time to do the same process. Yeah. Oh, it's this side. Okay. Now it's a... I'm gonna try and get up here. I might need help oh, with the top one. Una, I'll do the top ones and you do the bottom ones. Oh, doing it the wrong way. Yeah. Pull this through. 
Sit down in there nice and flush. Yeah. There you go. And now you come on this side and go on this side. Then you take this part, get it as tight as you can, because I think this is as tight as I can. And then put it on that. Good job. Alright, thread it right through there. Good job. This is the way we're doing it like this. It would be really hard to install it flush and then get our hands in that tight spot back there. Yep, go behind there just like that. Go ahead and snap that back over. Now start to feed it through. Let me help you just a little bit. It's pinching right there. Oh, give it a good, uh, give it a good press down. Let me get it good and flush. Good job. All right, and cinch it up. See that? You got to pull that tight. I think we can get it just a little bit tighter. There we go. Wait to reveal this thing. All right, Evie, go ahead and peel that inside off. Comes off nice and easy. This was totally my favorite part. <laughs> All right. That's sticky. Put that right you bet ready for the big reveal? Yeah. Go for it. Good job. You girls just installed this windshield. Mm -hmm. How's it look? It looks nice. I can barely even notice that it's there. The only thing that I do notice is this part. If this part wasn't bent like that, I probably, it probably like, I never noticed. All right, y'all wanna go on a little gator ride? We'll test it out. Okay. See if it makes any noise. See if we can see through it good. I like that. Set that box over there in the woods and we'll come back and get it when we're done riding. All right. Yeah. All right, everybody. So first impressions, super clear. Clarity's great. I don't see any kind of rubs or anything funny. The packaging was good, you know, nothing happened to it. It arrived well, it was box nice. No issues with clarity at all. We can see just fine. Fit and finish, also really nice. Everything fit well, it went flush where it should. Everything tightened up easily. The straps were pre-cut to actually fit. That was, uh, that was a nice touch. The bottom gasket was on, so no one had to fight with that. Really like that. Turn this thing around, getting a little bit different light. We don't normally ride out in the middle of the field, but we will today. something to look at so uh, if you haven't been to the channel before we uh, we raise goats and we have some ducks we have great Pyrenees 
Livestock Guardians. There's Hammer right there. He put the hammer and horn and hammer. The goats put the horns in. And this gator just comes in super handy taking care of these guys where we're bringing food up or just kind of doing our daily chores with them. Girls, what do y'all think about the windshield? What's your opinions? It looks good. It's crazy. Once you get it unpacking your first ride with it, it's kind of crazy. You're just looking after you're done, just looking at it, just to see how much stuff you get on, on you yep. after one gator ride. Yep. Once you install it, that's as clean as it's ever going to be. But it's fun to get them dirty. All right, y'all, we're trying to hit a couple different lighting conditions so that you can see the, the clarity of the windshield. We're trying to hit uh, you know, a few different terrains. I haven't heard any noise. Um, you know, There's no clicking or scraping or scuffing sounds, no squeaking, pretty quiet stuff. So thanks to our friends at Kimimoto for hooking us up with this windshield. It's really nice stuff. We appreciate it. Um, please check them out. Thanks everybody for watching the video. We appreciate it. Thank you to Kimimoto for sending us out uh, this fine windshield. Um, we appreciate you. Girls. Please like and subscribe.